Hello again, I'm Matthew from TheWetPen.com, and when we left off, I'd been looking at the inks at the Tsutaya bookstore in Ginza. And the next morning, after a brief stop at Mr. Donut, I decided to head out to another big Tsutaya. This one was the Daikanyama store, south of Shibuya. The store is spread out over three buildings with a cafe or maybe restaurant, and I had heard rumors that they had their own exclusive inks. It wasn't the easiest store to get to, but the store was great. There were cherries blossoming outside the door, and the stationery section was nice and big. I found a glass pen that I wanted to buy, but somehow I got distracted and forgot about it. But in addition to the European inks, they have a bunch that I don't normally see. These IWI inks are from Taiwan, and they are pretty easy to get in the US, but I'd never actually seen them in person before. They had the Kyono Oto series and the Fumisome from Tag Stationery. And these SKB inks are also from Taiwan, and they're available on Amazon in the US, but I've never tried them either. And these Kala inks are also from Taiwan, and I really wanted to buy a few of them, but they're actually less expensive here in the USA. Anyway, I eventually ran across these, two sailor inks that are exclusive to this branch. The first one is called On Your Birthday, and although there weren't any swatches or samples of these inks, I eventually found a listing for this ink on the Tsutaya Yahoo shop with a matching pen, and it appears that the ink is a brownish orange. The second one is called Something in Japanese. I don't know. Google translates the front of this box as I miss you seasonal feel the change, but on the label, it says Ink Autumn Sunshine Love. Okay, but it says something different on this side of the box. It says something like Autumn Sunshine. I eventually found this ink online, and it seems to be part of a Seasonal Greetings series. And this is the fourth anniversary ink. The website here calls it Wine Red, but frankly, that doesn't sound very seasonal, so I'm sticking with Autumn Sunshine. These two little bottles were some of the most expensive ones that I found, period, but they were especially expensive because they're only 20 milliliter bottles instead of 50. So let's take a look at these, starting with the On My Birthday. I'm swatching these on the same papers as the previous video, my Color Ring, Rhodia, Irofol, and Midori. Wait a sec, this isn't orange at all. This is clearly green. Just a sec. That's better. Okay, so this ink is a nice dark green. Not too blue like a pine green, but darker and bluer than your typical medium grass green or shamrock green. On the Irofol and Midori, there's a little bit of purplish sheen, but not much. Okay, now the Autumn Sunshine. Hmm, this ink is on the watery side. I can see why this ink might be called a wine red. And on papers like the Color Ring, where it looks a little warmer, it makes more sense as an autumn red. Well, after this Tsutaya bookstore, I headed north to Shibuya to finally track down the Shosaikan pen shop. I found it on a quiet side street, and I immediately liked it. The pen shop has the atmosphere of a museum at first, and they have an amazing selection of pens and inks. And the man and woman who were working there spoke plenty of English, and they were generally cool. And as I was heading towards the ink wall, I spotted something that I'd been looking for all week. A pair of inks in the old Sailor vase bottles. Behind them, you can also sort of see a pair of exclusive tag stationery inks. These bottles are pretty awesome. They taper down to a smallish point so that it's not too hard to fill your pen when the bottle is getting low on ink, but they still have a wide enough base that they're not a tipping hazard. 
I grabbed the blue because I can't help myself, and I would have grabbed the green also, but this was already the 18th bottle of ink that I had purchased on the trip, and I hadn't even left Tokyo yet, so I decided to leave the green behind. Anyway, I also found another Tag Stationery exclusive ink, this one called Yunagi, which might mean Evening Calm. Down in the corner of the box, this one says Shosaikan. So let's see what these ones look like. Starting with the vase bottle, I don't think that I mentioned what this ink is actually called. The bottle here says indigo blue, and this is a nice saturated indigo blue. Almost black where it's heavy, but there's some green sheen showing up in the heavy spots too. Wow, as this ink dries, it looks amazing. There's green sheen on the coloring swatch, but on the Irofull, the color looks more purple in spots, and we get completely different sheen. Most of it looks a little pink, but it also ended up with green in the heaviest spot, which all looks pretty awesome. And on the Midori, this ink looks quite a bit more purple, and there's a good amount of green sheen here too. I'll have to test this for a sheen with a pen. And now, the Yunagi. This is a nice slate blue. More blue than the Kingdom Note Lumpfish, but some people might still consider it a blue-gray. Now that it's dry, it's a really pretty blue. Nice and subdued, but still pretty saturated, and it's a uniform color across all of the papers. Looks like it has some potential for shading. I personally don't think that a person can have too many blue inks, but after getting these inks, I did make a modest effort to start branching out a bit more in the following weeks. It didn't really help. As long as we're here in another video talking about inks from a Tsutaya bookstore, let me wedge in one more ink. I mentioned this ink briefly in the previous video. This one is part of a collaboration between the Ginza Tsutaya and Ferris Wheel Press. Although, instead of buying it in Japan, I bought it online when I got back, and it came in the mail this week. This one is called Treasured Manuscript and the box art has all sorts of bookshelves and books, and some Canadian animals skulking around. We get the typical 38 milliliter bottle with the heavy metal hex cap. I feel like I should get out a socket wrench to open this thing. I don't like how easy these bottles are to tip over, but otherwise I really like how they look. Let me show you what this ink looks like. This is pretty pale, sort of a warm parchment color. And my battery died while I was filming that, but here's what it looks like dry. And as long as I'm dragging things out, I ran into these bottles of Pilot ink in a few different shops. They're just standard pilot inks, nothing special there. This one is blue, but they're in these limited release vintage design boxes and bottles. I think that these have been on the market for a couple of years now, and they're getting harder to find, and they're only available in Japan as far as I can tell. But this one cost 400 yen, which is just under 3 US dollars. So I couldn't pass it up even though it broke my rule. And that wraps up all of the inks that I bought in Tokyo. After this, I headed down to Nagoya on my way to Osaka, where I knew a couple of different shops that might have exclusive inks. And I'll pick up there in my next video. Of course, if you'd like to see the next video and you're not already subscribed, this is a good time to do it. And that's it, I will see you next time.